Weekend traffic wanes and a serious collision sends six to the hospital near Vail. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. Traffic on I-70 was down this weekend compared to last as 102,000 vehicles passed through both sides of the Eisenhower Tunnel Friday through Sunday. That is 17,000 fewer cars than the previous weekend when Breckenridge and Copper both opened for the season. Daily average this weekend was 34,000 cars per day, 13% more than last November. I-70 was closed for nearly three hours Saturday afternoon when a multi-vehicle crash outside Vail sent six people to the hospital. This from the Vail Daily, two vehicles traveling westbound collided around three that afternoon, sending both vehicles off the road and ejecting two passengers, one from each car. No update yet on the victim's conditions or what caused that accident. A small wildfire is burning north of Summit County today on five acres of remote Forest Service land about nine miles south of Partial. Sky High News reports the Kaiser Creek fire threatens no structures or roads. Several nearby trails are closed and fire officials will let that blaze burn to clear nearby Beetle Kill Pine. Three other fires are burning across the state today and you could see smoke in the Keystone area where the Forest Service is burning log piles from forest clearing work done this summer. Silverthorne is getting bullish on drones, passing first reading of a law that lets local cops enforce FAA drone rules. The Summit Daily reports town council last week voted on drone enforcement, inspired by police chief John Minor, who says drones are a headache for his officers. The biggest issue is privacy. Minor and council members say drones can be a nuisance and must be tightly policed. Second reading of that bill is Wednesday, December 11th. If you ate yogurt for breakfast this morning, you are part of a dying breed. The AP reports yogurt sales are dwindling in the U.S., ousted by oats, almond milk, and protein bars. Cow's milk is also on the decline. Dean Foods, the largest dairy producer in the U.S., filed for bankruptcy last month. Yogurt sales peaked in 2015 at $9 billion nationally. Experts predict losses of $1 billion by next year and nearly $2 billion by 2024. A Denver talk radio jock was fired in the middle of his show this past weekend, but sources can't agree on why he was fired. Multiple agencies report Craig Silverman of 710 KNUS was fired Saturday while talking about President Trump's former attorney, Rob Cohn. Silverman says he was fired for being critical of the president. The station says he violated policy by promoting his other talk show on a different station. Silverman is a contractor for KNUS with shows on at least two stations. Today in roadwork news, Dillon Dam Road remains closed today and through the week for rockfall mitigation on the Frisco side. It reopens this Friday, November 22nd. In sports, the Broncos lost to the Vikings yesterday 27-23, wasting a 20-point lead. The Nuggets beat the Grizzlies 131-114. All Colorado teams are off today, back tomorrow with the Avalanche. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports in Dillon. Race 2 of the A-Basin Rise and Shine Rando Series is next Tuesday, November 26th. Get signed up at ArapahoeBasin.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.